here at Love and Faith Community Church. And I know that many of you have been wondering how we're doing or how I'm doing and what we've been up to. And so I want to give you all an update. There are some people that thought that we moved uh, because when you look at us online, you see us in a different a different place. The truth is we did not move. We had some major repairs that needed to be done in our main sanctuary. So we've been in our multi-purpose room on the third floor. And so since we've been up there, it's been a smaller space, but it's been great. Uh, but the truth is we are going to move. After over 10 years here at 1410 East Indian Head Drive, God's been really good to us. We've seen some amazing highs and some amazing lows, but God has brought us through all of it. And after the pandemic, we had to really do some soul searching uh, and, re and figure out what was best for us. Uh, honestly, as a pastor, it was either choose the building or the people. And when we got to do the pandemic, we got to do ministry every month and service the community. And here's what I realized. After suffering a stroke myself during the pandemic, after trying to rebuild and make sure families are okay, and everybody's still in a reset and a rebuilding mode, I realized I don't want the majority of our budget going towards a big building. I really want it going towards big outreach and big ministry. And that's what we want to do. And so we've prayed about it and we've decided to downsize. And so what we're going to do for the next two years is rent a space and it's amazing space that you will see very soon. And for the next two years, we're going to occupy there. We're going to be able to do great ministry there. And then we're going, while we're doing that, we will renovate our new location. I don't want anybody to have their own narrative of why we're doing this. We're not losing this building. We're leaving it so that we can do real ministry the way that we want to. The other reason is because I believe that God is just stretching and challenging everybody to do something different. Me personally, dealing with the health, health challenges that I've dealt with in the past couple of years, uh, this year alone uh, hasn't even allowed me to be in service much, but I am grateful for a resilient church, uh, an amazing group of people that have pulled together and uh, they're still right here with me and they're still right here behind the vision. And so we're going to do this reset and uh, this relocation. And uh, at first I had a lot of anxiety about it, but now my anxiety is turning into excitement. And we're gonna be able to do some great things. And we're gonna take you over to so you can see where we'll be. And uh, we're gonna invite you to join us for our very first Sunday. It's going to be October the 23rd at 10.30 a.m. It actually will be our renewal Sunday, which is our anniversary. So we will be 21 years old. Can you believe it? And we're going to have our first service uh, on October 23rd in our new location. At Love and Faith, we're not the perfect church, but our heart is in the right place. And we like to say we are a family of families. So come be a part of this relaunch, this reset with us. And uh, I'm grateful to everyone that has supported us through the years. And we pray that that support will not stop uh, as we move to our new location. And we're looking for what's next. We are in our year of intentional growth. God is showing us that we can grow anywhere. So thank you for being a part of the LFCC family.